would you like Montanans to know about the Montana economy that they may not fully appreciate or recognize? Well, I'm going to say my probably my soapbox issue that I have, and I've had this one for a long time, um, is actually that agriculture is not Montana's largest industry. And it's one of those things I see in the paper a lot. I hear people say a lot. And every time I hear it, I'm kind of like, <sighs> and I Obviously, as I said, I grew up in a rural area up in Northeast Montana. My family still has a family farm. We're over a hundred year homesteaded up there. So we're over a hundred years now. It's not that I don't understand how it's part of our culture, but it is uh, not the largest industry. And I think that that leads people to misunderstand how our economy works. Um, for example, the largest GDP production industry is actually real estate and the sale of our houses, our sale of our farms. Um, you know, anytime there's value added, that gets added into our economy. And I think people, once you say that, they're like, oh yeah, home prices are really high right now. And then they start thinking about that. But um, to not have a full understanding of where our economy really is, like it just leads us to a misunderstanding that probably puts the focus in the wrong areas. Another area. More, oh, oops, go sorry, ahead. I was just, just going to say we're a lot more complex yeah. than just being an agrarian sort of a state. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, knock out the mining and, and um, agriculture and some of these very traditional industries in our state. And they're critical, particularly to bringing in export dollars into our state but they forget about how large our professional services are. Um, and that includes things, everything from le legal firms to computer programming firms and you know the whole tech industry that we have going on in Bozeman and to a smaller extent, Missoula. That is a great development for our economy and it's bringing a lot of high paying jobs into our state. And I think that if we, you know, don't acknowledge some of these more um, modern industries, knowledge-based industries, if you want to call them that. It really puts us in a scenario where we're not picking the right uh, programs for our schools to focus on. We're maybe not telling our kids about all the jobs that are available and they may not know which jobs to go into. And then also, you know, when you think about how we tax our industries or how we operate with policies, then I think it makes a difference there as well. So um, I think it's good to kind of think about all industries in the economy. There are no bad industries. I also think, um, you know, so real estate and finance I mentioned as number one and healthcare is one of our largest employers. But one of our smallest industries is actually the information industry. It's pretty small, doesn't create a huge amount of GDTV. It's a pretty small employer. But that industry includes um, internet service providers and uh, newspapers and radio. And without those two things, not one business in the state of Montana could sell their products. 